What is going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So you've seen in total then 10 different product research methods in 10 minutes. So recently then I've been getting a bit conscious of how long my videos are getting. I'll be talking or recording a video for what feels like five to 10 minutes. And then when I go to edit it, it's like an hour long. So I thought I'd set myself a bit of a challenge to give you guys as much information as possible in as short a time as possible. So today what I'm gonna do is give you 10 different ways to find winning products you can drop ship from AliExpress all in the space of 10 minutes or at least that's what I'm going to plan to do. So that being said then guys that's the topic thank you for tuning in I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get straight into it. What is going on then guys welcome to my computer so 10 different product research methods in 10 minutes I've got my stopwatch open here um, and I'm gonna try and do this in one take as well, just to keep it as legit as possible, which is gonna make it very, very interesting because I'm not naturally very good at talking on camera and in videos usually take me anywhere between kind of 10 and 20 different takes. So to try and do this all in one take, all in 10 minutes as well, um, it's gonna be quite a challenge actually. So it's gonna be interesting. So I've got my stopwatch open here. Um, I've got a stopwatch on my phone as well, just so I can kind of keep an eye on the time as we go along. So I don't have to keep flicking back, back and forth between this one. Um, and then hopefully all going well, uh, we'll have 10 different research methods in 10 minutes. So that being said then guys, let's get into the video. And if you didn't already notice, I've already had to come back and do another take purely because I got about halfway through the video, realized I hadn't logged into one of my accounts and I couldn't remember my password. So, and it just put me back too much time and I didn't want to rush through the last few ones because there are some pretty good ones at the end. Um, and I didn't want to reduce like the, like the quality of the information in this video. So hopefully um, we'll have a bit more luck this time. So that being said then, I'm going to start it on my phone. Let's start it on here as well. And let's get straight into number one then, which is actually using your own Facebook ad preferences. So the way you do this is if you just log into your Facebook account, top right, click on the arrow, um, click on settings, click on ads on the bottom left. And this is gonna take you to your ad preferences, which basically shows you all the interests that you could possibly receive ads for. So if you click on your interests, it's gonna give you all these different categories at the top. If you click on more, there's a few more different ones there. And if we just click on, let's go for technology say, and if you just hover over the different interests, can you see that it says see example ads? If you click on that, it's gonna give you all the most popular ads for that interest. And hopefully it will give you some pretty decent products you can go ahead and try and find on AliExpress. So if you wanna see the video, just simply click on it, open it up. Uh, you watch the ad, see what you think of the product. And if you look on the bottom left, it's gonna give you their actual ad copy and it's gonna tell you how many views it's got as well. So you can see kind of how much money that particular person is putting into those ads because if it's got a million of views, then they're, they're not obviously gonna pay that amount of money if the product isn't selling very well. Moving on to number two, research method number two, which is using a website called thieve.co. All of these products on this site are on AliExpress and is created by influencers, bloggers, photographers who find cool products on AliExpress. They put them on here and then people can vote for their favorite ones. As you can see, this one's got 118 votes. This has got 125. So if you filter it by the ones with the most votes or you can choose the different categories, you can go on latest, trending. If I click on trending, it's gonna give us the best toys. And it's just a great place to find product ideas. You can click on men's, um, but feel free to come across to this site. I think you have to create an account for this one as well. And you can just kind of funnel through, look for the ones with the most upvotes. And then if you just click on them, you can click on them again and it will actually take you to AliExpress and the actual product page itself. Moving on to number three then, which is one of my favorites, which is using the exchange marketplace. And this is where people come then to sell their Shopify stores, which is great because you can see how much money they're doing. Go to their stores and see what their best selling products are. So if you just click on browse up here, browse all, and most of the big ones will be private listings, but if you just keep scrolling down, then we should come across one that isn't. So we've got the hoverboard. Uh, it's pretty obvious what that is. Kyrain, that sounds a bit weird. Unique stock. Let's have a look at this one. So they've got pretty decent monthly revenue. Um, if you just click on their store URL, then it'll take you to their store and you'll be able to get a feel then for kind of the kind of products they're selling. 
So just looking at this, and this just screams products from AliExpress. It's obviously a general store. And in the way we find their best selling products is we use a tool called Commerce Inspector. Feel free to go ahead and download it. It's 100% free. Um, I'm not affiliated. It does tell you the theme they're using as well. Um, and if you just click on best selling, it will take you to their best selling products. Um, so that's number three. Moving on to number four, again, is another website called Ecom Hunt. Again, 100% free to use. There is a link down in the description. And if you do pay for a paid plan, then I will get an affiliate fee. But to be honest with you guys, there's no need for it. Um, it will it will do the job. The free plan will do the job. It will tell you what you need to know. Um, and it will give you product ideas, which is essentially uh, what we're trying to do here. So as you can see, there's kind of like a wide range of products here. If we just simply click on one, and then it's gonna give us all this different information. And again, if we had a paid plan, um, it would give us even more. But like I said, um, it's just a great place to come for different product ideas. Moving on to number four or five, I'm not quite sure, is the simple one that you might have seen before. What you do is you just head over to Google, put your niche in followed by .myshopify.com and it's gonna give you all the Shopify stores in your niche. Um, keep opening up the, the different links that come up until you come across one that you're pretty sure is a dropshipping store, which I did. Um, so I'm just gonna open this one up and show you. And as you can see, it looks like a print on demand store um, and again we can use this same method then of finding their best selling products so we know which ones to to focus our attention on um, now what we want to do is we don't want to copy if you do want to do a print on demand store you don't want to copy the exact same products you want to depending on what your own skills are you can create your own designs based on these or you can send them to a designer on fiverr.com um, and they'll be able to create you something similar Moving on to the next one then is this website here, which is lookup-id.com. And it will take you to the homepage, which looks, if I scroll right to the top, which looks like this, but we wanna scroll right to the bottom. And in this box here, we wanna put something like get yours here, which is gonna find us posts with these keywords. So this is obviously quite a strong call to action that you'll find a lot of dropshipping companies using. So we just click search. It will open up Facebook and hopefully it should give us some pretty good products um, that we can go ahead and have a look at. So just have a look at this first one then let's open this up. How cool is this mug? Um, so as you can see, it's showing us exactly what the product is, exactly what that ad is. And what's good as well is it shows us how many views there are and how many comments. And what we wanna do is we wanna open up the comments, click, click, keep clicking view more comments. And you wanna try and find intent. You wanna try and find people commenting that they're actually buying this because then you know that it is a product that's actually selling and worthwhile you selling it yourself, if that makes sense. So moving swiftly on to the next one, which is a website called Shut Up and Take My Money. Um, and again, it's just a great place to come for these trending products that you might not have seen, might not have seen before. They're usually not branded either, which means you will be able to find something very similar, if not the exact same product on AliExpress. Um, and you've got all these different categories then down on the left-hand side, depending on what niche you wanna go into. If you're not sure, then just go through each one, one by one, have a look at them, try and find them on AliExpress, see what kind of order numbers they're getting. Um, my cat and I talk shit about you. I can see that selling really well, actually. Not quite sure if you'd be able to ship that from China without it breaking, but um, a pretty cool product. I can see that being quite popular. Um, and just simply scroll through them until you find one that catches your eye. If it catches your eye, then the chances are it's gonna catch somebody else's as well. I'm getting out of breath talking this quickly. So moving on to the eighth one, I think, is Alibaba. So Alibaba is the same as AliExpress. It's owned by the same person, which is Jack Ma. And typically then this is where people come to order products in bulk. So if you just come onto their website and search for Alibaba bestsellers, it's gonna give you their bestsellers. And there's a reason they're the best-selling products is because they're popular. So again, just keep scrolling through Wait until you find something that catches your eye. And if it's caught your eye, then the chances are it will catch somebody else's. Um, I use this method quite a lot actually, because there are some pretty cool products you can find. Like that's pretty cool. I can see that 
working in it kind of opens itself up to who you would target on Facebook as well. You can target people who like traveling and people who like cats. And then there's obviously a couple of other um, things you can look at as you go through as well. So there's different power banks, different cases, um, different sports bowls, etc. Let's just have a quick look on the time. Eight minutes and we've got a couple more left. So moving on to the second but last one is wish.com. Great, great place to find good products because all of these products are coming from China. So the chances are you will find pretty much every single one of these on AliExpress as well. And there's just endless options that you can filter by. So you can click on things like popular, <coughs> which is gonna show you all the popular products. Um, and it tells you how many people have bought that certain product. So again, it gives you an idea of how interested people are in that product. Uh, you've got all these different categories at the top, sports and outdoor. If we just click on hobbies, which is quite a general one, it's going to give us a good range of products um, that, that we can potentially look into and find on AliExpress. So loads of different things. We've just hit nine minutes. Moving on to the final one, which is as seen on TV video.com, which is typically again, unbranded things, or at least things that you'll be, be able to find replicas of on AliExpress. So as long as you don't sell it under the same brand name, you should be all right. Obviously, as long as there's no patent on it. So just scroll through. Um, this looks pretty cool actually, is some, some sort of kid's toy. <coughs> And if you click on it, there should be a video ad as well, which there is. And if we just let this play for a second, you could download that and chop it up or at least base your own video on it. You could potentially buy one of these yourself, create your own video ad. It'd be dead simple to do. Um, I've done plenty of videos in the past on video ads. It doesn't have to be anything special as long as you show the product and what it does. And if you can get somebody to use it and actually film somebody using it as well. So that being said, we are on nine minutes, 59 seconds, and we've just about done it. Um, I'm actually out of breath trying to speak that quickly. Hopefully you guys have found some value in the video. Um, I know I've talked really quickly and I've probably skipped over quite a few things. Um, any questions on any of those methods whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will get back to everybody in the comment section. And I will go into a bit more detail as well. So that being said then guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.